Hello, welcome to the Soul Print Weekly Picture Crystal Reading. This is for the week of September 3rd through the 9th. All right. Thank you very, very much for being here. If you're at all interested in getting a private reading, the information and the email address is just in the drop box below. It's soulprint888 at gmail.com. Just send me out a quick little message saying you're looking for information on a reading and I will be happy to respond. That is the only place and the only way you can get a reading from me. If you see anything advertised or anything like that, it's not me. All right, let's get started. So today we're working with blue. It's sort of a magenta, but we're just going to call it purple because it's kind of purple on this side. Um, and green. Take a moment. You may be attracted to one, two, or sometimes even all three. Oops, and let's get started, shall we? Okay, here we go. The Ace of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, all right. Okay, here we go. So, you know, the Ace of Swords is it is often about, you know, triumph. It is often about, um, you know, overcoming a difficult time. It can be about having inner strength. It can be about mental clarity. It can be about um, justice. But what's so interesting is it's then followed by three cards of pentacles so you have the four the seven and then the ten of pentacles so the thing about the the sword family is that it's very important to remember that a sword basically can cut both ways and so these are your thoughts these are your ambitions so it's important that you remember to keep your thoughts and your ambitions aligned, all right? You don't want to be focusing in on what you don't want. You want to make sure that your thoughts and your feelings are of a high caliber so that you are attracting in what you do want. The Four of Pentacles is very often about holding on to something kind of, you know, too tight. Um, it can be being overly cautious. It can be fear of loss. The Seven of Pentacles is about work and patience being rewarded. It can be about good news financially. It can also represent an assessment, right? Assessing what you have, what you don't have, what you need, what you don't need, that kind of thing. And let's not forget, the pentacles are always, always about earthly, tangible, physical possessions. And then it's followed by the ten of pentacles, which, you know, it's about financial and family stability and prosperity. It can be about inheritances, it can be about large sums of money. Sometimes it can be about large groups, so let's see what we have here. So it seems that the message within the cards is that it's really important that you um, remember to keep your thoughts and, and sort of your ambitions in alignment with each other. Now, because it's a sword and you've got these pentacles, it, it sort of, I'm wondering if... This may not have to do with some sort of a legal matter that is coming to fruition. Is it perhaps documents that need to be signed? Um, you, you know, something with some legality attached to it. I, you know, this is what it feels like. It feels like you have been almost waiting for something or being ready to move forward on something. And you're you're just sort of in that, that place where you're kind of looking at it kind of one last time to make sure, you know, everything is in alignment. The Four of Pentacles indicates that there has been sort of some reluctance to 
um, sort of release what you have. It, it, it this feels very much like sort of saving stuff for a rainy day. Um, it feels like, you know, not being, you know, frivolous. It, it's about holding on to the assets and the security you have. As you do an assessment or it's, as an assessment is completed, you're going to find that even though this was a long process to get from what the sword represents, moving through your own fears and concerns about financial safety and security, after you have finally made that assessment or that determination, you will come to realize that it is going to help move you towards a place of abundance and happiness and success. So, you know, whether this pertains to sort of a personal matter that has taken a really long time to sort itself out or a legal matter, whether it's about, you know, buying a home or signing a lease or starting a business, it's about that sense of being cautious and careful, clearly with clear eyes assessing, um, where you are, where you want to go, recognizing that, you know, sometimes things take hard work. Sometimes they take longer to materialize than we expect. But ultimately, the Ten of Pentacles is suggesting to you that you're going to be safe. You're going to be fine. You're going to have the resources that you need, basically, to kind of live the life you want to live. It's just a lovely grouping of cards, but it's definitely talking about the progression of, you know, moving through very distinct and different phases. All right. Okay. And our purple crystal, what do we have here? King of Swords. The Five of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the King of Wands. Okay, so again, this is um, a reading that has, you know, a strong component of swords in it. So, you know, we know the King of Swords can often be about the law. Sometimes it can be about courage. It can be about truth. It can be about finding justice. It can be about... Um, you, you know, interacting with the law or interna interacting with government. The Five of Swords sort of talks about a little bit of, you know, sometimes it can be about somebody else's hidden agenda. There can be a little bit of, um, you know, feeling things just didn't turn out the way you anticipated or expected or hoped for. There is a sense of you know, just sort of a sense of, of disappointment. Um, and honestly, and it feels as if sort of there's a feeling as if you weren't treated right or things didn't turn out the way you wanted them to. Now, the Page of Swords also talks about, you know, sort of disappointing news, things taking longer than you expected, that kind of energy. But don't despair, because the Knight of Wands is here, and that is talking to you about change, change that's coming. Sometimes it can be a change of home, a residence. It's a significant change in your life. Maybe you're planning on taking a long trip. So the cards are interesting because there really is a sense of having the clarity of thought, keeping your thoughts clear, keeping your um, ambitions reasonable and and really feeling like it is time to kind of move forward from this place. There may for sure have been disappointment. Sometimes that happens in life, unfortunately. It doesn't feel like this is a lost cause so much as um, this really has, I almost want to say it's taken a lot of energy out of you. It's dragged you down. Um, you know, 
I, you, you, I can't help wonder if this doesn't have something to do with the resolution of property. Perhaps you are trying to sort your way through um, a legal document, perhaps an inheritance. Maybe you're trying to sort through, maybe you're the executor of a will. Maybe you are trying to find the perfect house or, you know, apartment, whatever it is you're looking for. And it's just taking forever and you can't find what you're looking for. It's that kind of slow moving energy. Now, I want to remind you that this is one of my most favorite expressions because I have always found in my life it to be true, is that rejection is protection. So sometimes when things feel like they're moving really slowly and you feel like there's blocks one after another, one after another, it may ultimately because be because the universe has something far better waiting in line for you and because like it like I, I was saying if this has to do with like a, a residence change you can't find what you're looking for you're looking for you know that kind of thing the knight of wands is assuring you that absolutely you know what there is going to be change there is going to be um that forward movement in a direction that you're going to be really pleased with you're going to be happy with it's finally going to take you to a place where you can finally take action because this feels more you know sort of legal documentations um those kinds of issues and it's been a process but the page of wands is here to assure you that in fact there will be change coming and it is ultimately going to work out in your favor all right and let's look at the, the green shall we here we go <clears throat> The Ace of Wands, the King of Wands, the Hanged Man, and Justice. Interesting. So if you had picked the green crystal first, you might want to consider also going back and listening to the reading from the purple crystal because there seem to be kind of strong similarities here. So the Ace of Wands is about a new adventure, a new way of life, a new beginning, a new start. This, the King is about, you know, entrepreneurial energy. It's about um, dynamic energy. It's about, you know, warmth and cheerfulness. It is about matching your words and your actions, letting them be in sync. And again, you have this card here that's sort of talking about a delay. Something has slowed down. Things aren't moving as quickly as you would like them to move. But ultimately, you get taken to a place of justice and balance and fairness. So, whatever the Ace of Wands is representing to you, it is perhaps been a long time unfolding or, you know, processing out playing it out and maybe perhaps in that process in and of itself you have have started to look at a situation in a different way in a new light perhaps it gives you more clarity of of kind of where things are at or where they're going forward and in the end it is justice and balance so perhaps with the two wands here, um, it very definitely feels like there is an energy of, you know, maybe you wanted to get moving. Maybe you were waiting for information. Um, you're ready to start this new life, this new way of life, this new adventure. And you have been kind of waiting for things to um fall into place come together allow you to be able to move forward with the vitality and the energy that you want and need to move this forward if you are in a place or a position where things seem to be delayed or you know you're having to sort of re sort of work your thoughts and allow them to um, see things from a different perspective or perhaps just take a deep breath and understand that sometimes you just have to kind of ride out the delays but with justice here it is 
confirming, it is letting you know that there absolutely is going to be a balance and clarity for you. Justice will prevail. Um, you know, and sometimes we, we think of justice as um, the law and, and legalities and documentations. And that's true. I mean, the justice card very much has a sword here and, and you know, an owl for wisdom. But it also has the scales of balance. And so it's very important to sometimes realize that when we are looking for justice, the ultimate justice ends up being something that creates a sense of balance as opposed to something that's really lopsided, right? Like you win and you completely lose, or you get everything and you get nothing. Um, it, it's reminding you that in, in the best case scenario, there is a sense of justice and fair play. And so whatever this is that you're working your way through, understand that you're going to get to the end and it very much feels like you're going to be pleased with the results. Okay. Thank you so very, very much for being here at the Soul Print um, Mini Chris Pick Your Crystals reading. Have a good week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.